Listen, it's Hip Hop Nation. Your tour guide is here. When I say hip hop on certain days, I mean hip hop on certain days. And today is definitely one of those days. I tell you this, I was pleasantly surprised when I started seeing promo and rollout for this new Nas album. And now it's here, King's Disease. And we got the man, the legendary Esco joining us today. What's up, Nas? What's up, brother? How you doing? Bless, King. Bless. First and foremost, before we get into the formalities, man, how are you? How's the family? I know it's a crazy time we're living in. Thank God everybody's good, man. Word up. Word you good? Up. On your, everybody good on your side? Yeah, yeah. We, we, we good out here, man. You know, we retreated, yeah. went, went to the hot out, you know what I mean? And now we just chilling, waiting for outside to open back up. For sure. Word up. So we got this new project, man, King's Disease. <laughs> Dope project. Like I said, man, pleasantly surprised. Nas, you've been... You've been doing something that you haven't normally done in your career, man. For the last three years, you've given us a project every year, and almost to the date, right? We got um, Nasir came out June 2018, Lost Tapes yeah. 2 was July 2019, and now yeah. King's Disease is August of 2020. So you've been giving us an extra month, and we getting this new music, man. Talk to me about this productivity, brother. I can't, you know, I'm getting too old to just keep it away for seven years. I can't, you can't do that. <laughs> you can't, you'd be gone. They'd be like, who is this guy? <laughs> so it, I had to switch it up and, um, and I started doing more and start working more and um, um, not being so hard on myself about putting stuff out. Cause then it never comes out, you know? Right, right. Or, or, you know, so I just started like loosening up. That's what's yeah. up, man. I think that the response has been dope. For the new project, you know, I had it on loop a couple yeah. times today. Talk to me about the process. You and Hit Boy, that was something that yeah. also threw the people for a loop. Hit is, um, Hit is just dope. He, um, his, I was trying to get with him a, a while back, and um, I knew how dope he was back then, years ago. And mm -hmm. I was just trying to get in. But we, we tried, but we never really got, really got working. But, um. Uh, we just wanted, I wanted a track from him, you know right. what I'm saying? So um, it turned out to be an album. <laughs> Crazy. What was the <laughs> first joint? What was the first joint that, that got your attention from Hit Boy? Yo, I, I, years ago, it had to be something from way back. Okay. It had to be something. I can't remember one, but his name was it's just, it kept popping up right. In, in the right circles. Like, right. you know, and I was just like, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's definitely produced a lot of big records, but also just a lot of dope album cuts and just ill production. You know, he's one of those guys that you can go to and kind of get the whole gambit of, of what you're looking for. And that's what we got on King's Disease, man. Dope joint, 12 joints plus a bonus. We've been rocking that ultra black. We're going to get into that. We're going to get back into some conversation with Nas. Make sure you keep it right here. It's Hip Hop Nation. Listen, man, we on the wake up. Your tour guide is in the building. We took the tour out to Queens today. You know what I mean? I got QB's finest. I got Nas rocking with me. Nas, man, talk to me about, you know, the process of putting this project together. Some of the features, you know, like you and Big Sean, Unexpected. Um, the joint with you and Anderson Pack is just super crazy. We got the firm back together on this one, man. Tell me about, tell me about Full Circle, first of all, just because... That's my cloth, you know what I mean? That's that's my era, that's my zone. Tell me about getting back with The Firm. Uh, the Firm, man, that was great. I mean, Hit was like, yo, let's get AZ on the album. And um, I was excited that he wanted A on the album because I knew that he really was invested in working in me now. Because, mm -hmm. I, I, you know, it was, he brought it up to me. And I'm like, all right, you really, you really on it. You really on your shit. And he was, um, um, he was really adamant about that. And I'm like, cool, I'm, I'm, I'm a hit A. I hit A, A got on the joint and, and murdered it. And I'm like, I got an A joint. And around the time when we were about to wrap the album up, my man G Code was listening to it. And he looked at me and just said, yo, why don't you get Cormac and Foxy Brown on the record? And I'm like, oh, wow. wow All right, wow. Gabe with the A and R credit, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know. Um, he was just like, you know, exec producer too. Word. He was just like, you know, you got to do that. So I just started making the, trying to reach out and, and I had to catch up with Mega. We was cool, but, um, from years ago, but, um, we still ain't talked in years, mm -hmm. you know? And, um, so I, I thought these, during these times, we don't know what tomorrow's going to bring. Man, That's right. You know? So I called them up and we had a great conversation and the same thing with Fox, you know? 
That's and then nuts. They got on it. They got yeah, it. and they and they and they everybody bodied it. Um, Mega said he hadn't even heard. I saw his tweet earlier. He said he hadn't even heard anything else. He just sent his joint in and. He heard it when he yeah. came today, and it was it was just a crazy yeah. joint, man. How important is it for you to kind of have those relationships that might have been a little left in the past, like just to try to rectify some of that shit now? It's beautiful. I mean, because some things can't be rectified with certain people. Right. Um, certain people can't, they don't want to rectify it. Mega did, and um, he's a man. He's a grown man, and he always was. You know, he's always mm -hmm. my brother. I, I hated the fact that we ever had anything, you know right. what I'm saying? Cause, but I, I understand, you know, like we all grow and, and we, we, you know, we, he's strong, he's strong with his opinion. Um, I'm, I'm strong with mine and we just didn't agree years ago, right. you know, at, at, at a point and it, it just got bad. And, you know, but at the end of the day, that's my brother, like, like from the block, you Word know up. what I mean? Before it was any record deals, before it was any of that stuff, you know. That part. Um, you know, he did some time, and he came home, and I was on the game. I was in the game, and I'm I'm ready for him, like, cause I was ready to get busy with him. And right. you know, I think, I think uh, he, when he came home, he he was still that dude from the block, you know, and he wanted to approach the rap game in a way like that. But right. he always had, the, he's always smart and always had his vision. But I think he was still kind of mentally entrenched in mm -hmm. the streets on a level that I saw that, you know, I just, we just was like bumping heads. I'm like, let's take care of this. It's a, it's a whole long story. Of course, I of course. about Mega for a while, but I'm just happy that we, um, that we're all good. And he dropped some jewels on there. I told him that what he said on the record, just I'm, I'm take I'm listening to what he said. It's helping me. You Crazy. Know? And, and, and Foxy Brown got on the record and ate us up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shout out to Fox. You know me and Fox went to school together. We was actually in wow. John Dewey together. She was my classmate, oh. so shout out to Aang. Wow. I remember the wow. first time I saw her. She said, always, oh, yo, I rap too, I rap, I rap. And I was like, I rap. She said, I rap. And then I saw her, I was like, yo, she really rap. <laughs> right, right, right. She really she rap. Really like, rap she, she really got outside with it. Listen, Nas right. is here. It's Hip Hop Nation. Nas, when we come back, I want to talk to you about the album cover because I think artwork is very powerful. This is a powerful title. You broke it down on the album. We're going to get more in depth with it. Make sure you keep it right here. It's Hip Hop Nation. You know what? I want to take them back a little bit. One of my favorite Nas joints, I Can. Can we get into that joint? For sure. Shout out yeah. to Salam Remy. Yeah. For sure, for sure. Shout out to the homie Salam. It's Hip Hop Nation. We on the wake up. Listen, your tour guide is here. Nas is here. New project is out there right now. King's Disease. You already know we've been running at Ultra Black. We're going to continue to vibe with that. But Nas, Ultra I want to get... Black. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I want to get into this album cover. You know, it's a powerful title, and I want you to break down the title, but also, you know, the visual that went along with it. The artist, her name is uh, Harmonia. Uh, a sister, black woman. Um, um, I think she's black. Is she black? She looks beautiful. She's a beautiful sister. Nah, Whatever she is, nah, we she's all a black guys. Nah. No matter your race, to me, we all are black. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> but she's in, she's just a, a brilliant artist. I saw her work, and I, I reached out to her. Her work just speaks of knowledge, history. Um, it's daring, it's bold, it's 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 multi-layered with so much stuff. Word. And um I contact I contacted her, I'm like, yo, would you be interested in uh doing a work? And she was uh the album cover and she was like she was like, Yeah, and um we just started building our ideas and next thing you know, um boom, she she gives us this piece. Nice, it's, it's like, amazing. Yeah, I, I I felt like it's it looks like how the music sounds. For sure, that's exactly what I was gonna say. Did she get a chance to hear the music prior to, or that just it was just you know synergy? Synergy all day. She didn't hear the music. That's yeah. that's definitely crazy. You talk about so much on the album, man, and you've never been an artist to shy away from you know what's going on in the world and talk about the state of the culture, <laughs> but also the state of our people. Um, why are we going ultra black right now? Talk to me, man. The world is in a crazy place. Um, it's so much just like layers on top of shit. It was like all the shit we was dealing with prior to, plus a pandemic, plus more social unrest. It's like a crazy, crazy time, man. Talk to me about these times, Nas. Man, you know, you just said it. You know, we what we're living in is is the worst, you know. But it's um 
There's also there's opportunity. You know, sure. it's we're always going to be tried. We right. always they always going to try you. Um, there's always going to be things that's that's a, a obstacle, and the the thing we have to do is know that that doesn't define us. The the racial injustice and the things that have been placed on the black community doesn't define who we are. What defines us is us pushing through it, us figuring out ways around it, us breaking down a system that's old and tired and wrong and right. changing that system into a more diversified situation where everybody can eat, everybody can get down. And, and that's what we're doing. That's what the world is more aware of today is because of uh, social media is because so many other things that, that we're more aware around the world globally what's wrong with places and um, different countries what's happening over there we can reach out and see what's happening so the whole world can identify with the, with George Floyd uh, right. being killed you know and and react to that and then cause an effect you know so we have to stay on that and and politically too because I mean, I don't know it all, bro. Obviously, none of us do, but I just, I just feel like the, all the all the politics that's played with, you know, the the, the votes, mail-in mm -hmm. votes, and the postal service, and this the po political gang is more gangster than anything. Man. The biggest gang ever. Yeah. <laughs> like for real, for real. You yeah. spoke to um diversity, man, and and financial equality. That's something that you know. As much as we we love you as a as a goat MC and how you know highly exalted you are in that realm. That's something that I super respect, man, from, from Sweet Chick to Mass Appeal to Ring and all the other shit that you've been involved in, man. It's really, um, it's really inspiring, to say the least, to show that somebody who look like me that come from the place that I come from can get into this game and, and do some amazing things. And, and again, man, we speak to this generation of wealth all the time, but you really like kind of putting those pieces together, man. Talk to me just about your interests and how you've been able to, you know, diversify your portfolio, Nas? <laughs> well, we live in America where uh, opportunities are supposed to be endless. So um, there's, a, there's so many things we can go do, so many avenues we can, we can uh, turn to. Um, and usually, like you said, coming from where we come from, it's not, it's not usually the thing that we wind up in offices or, or, or in meetings and rooms with people um, that are so far from the hood. Right. And it, usually they, they don't want nobody in those rooms that look like us, you know? Precisely. Um, the, the, the world has changed. The world is, is evolving at some, at, at some level. And where I see a crack, I kick it and make a, a bigger hole and, and, and run in there. And I've been using, using my platform basically to um, get in these rooms. You know, a lot of these brand new, these, these these guys coming up with a lot of this technology, they are familiar with hip hop. A lot of these people that are coming up with um, uh, a lot of, uh, and I'm also uh, also uh, um, a big in investing into um, a lot of um, uh, black owned Word. situations, Word. And, uh, startups and stuff, and and programs to to assist. Uh, with small businesses, small black business. Been doing that for a while, long super, time now. Yeah, super important. Um, so I think I get good karma from that. I think things like that, I play I play all sides of it, man, you know? Word up. You know, it's, it's crazy, man. Like, <laughs> you being one of the greatest MCs, one of the most prolific writers, just one of the illest storytellers of our time. I know how musical you are, and I, res I, I really respect your mus musicality, like throughout your lyrics, through the stuff that you sample, you know, you would drop names or you would, you know, flip something from, from Gap or you would mention Stephanie Mills or just like all those type of vibes. When you hear, and you've been hearing this for a long time now, but I'm definitely curious, when you hear that you are one of the greatest in this genre of music, when people say it, when they study in your work in, in, in college courses and you at the Kennedy Center, you just getting all of these amazing accolades, man. But when they tell you that you are one of the best creators in this art form, how do you take that? I mean, I take it, I take it in stride. I take it easy. <laughs> um, I, I don't, um, I don't focus too much on that because you one day you're the man, the next day who, who is he? Mm. And if you take it personal, that's when it gets you. 
That's right. I appreciate it, man. I, I, I'm grateful that people, I'm really just happy that anybody would take the time and check me out. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't want anything from you. Uh, just, just your ear for a second. And, and um, I appreciate your time. So I don't need nothing else but the love that I got from that moment. And then the extra love is just, that's just uh, the, even more. So I appreciate that. It's humbling because I started out so many years ago. Right. Know? It started out um, where I look around for people and I'm like, where did they go? Why am I one of the last ones that from that time period, you know, mm -hmm. like 1990, you know, mm -hmm. 1990, that's, that's scary, you know, you know, so I was like, uh, uh, it's a it's a great feeling. It's 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 humbling, man. For sure, man. That's that's that divine purpose. Yeah, you know I mean, you here for a reason, and you here to impact lives in a in a special way. Before I let you go, the hip hop head in me would be remiss if I didn't ask certain questions. So I just want to know: Are we ever getting Nas and Large Pro? Man, <laughs> don't dwell I, on this one because I'm gonna ask you about four more, though, just like it. All good. Um. I've been thinking about that for a while. Mm. I've been thinking about doing that with him for a while. That's something I really want to do. Crazy. I really want to do that. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, the yeah. culture, you know, I mean, of course, that had been rumored and talked about, and, you know, that's something that the culture always asks for. But they also ask for Nas and DJ Premier, man. What's your relationship with Prem? Are we going to get more music from y'all, too? Mum's the word on the Premier. Oh shit! Wait, I'm calling free. I'm calling free right after this. I didn't say that. No, I just, you said enough. You said enough, now. <laughs> okay, ask this up. Um, Swiss said that you and him had been working and that y'all had stockpiled some joints, man. How how far along we are? Is that going to be a full project? Or what can you tell me about you and Swiss's collaborations? Yeah, Swiss. I think I think we have to do a full project too because we had been working already. I'm trying to I'm trying to keep up with Swiss, you know. I'm like his <laughs> his he he is he's a genius, man. Um, For sure. So we yeah, we we talk about that too. He's currently working on um, DMX. Yeah. And I, I can't I'm excited about that project, man. So me and Swiss, we always we always wind up talking. We always and when it happens, it happens, and then we're in the studio every day. For and sure. the next time we get in the studio, it's gonna happen. That's crazy. Well, that's, that's, that's definitely a lot to look forward to. Nas, I could talk to you all day. Let me ask you two more questions. Since you talked about Swiss's genius, um, one of the amazing things that we've seen him doing during this quarantine time is putting together versus with Timberland. Your name has been thrown out there 20 billion times. I'm sure you've heard it. Would you be open to, to doing a celebration of music? Nah. Nah. Not with it? I'm a big fan of versus. I'm a big fan of uh, what they're doing. I think is amazing. Um, um, that's about it. I'm a fan. I just want to watch. <laughs> I just want to watch. I just want to watch. You want to be a spectator? <laughs> All yeah, right. Lastly, yeah. because we were talking about you and collaboration albums, I got a chance to get out um, on the tour, you know, back when we was outside. You and Mary J. Blige. Amazing tour. Amazing chemistry. Y'all always make Thanks. amazing music together. Will we yeah, get shout like out a, to Mary. one of those kind of vibes, like a Nas and Mary J. type of vibe project? That would be crazy. Shout out to Mary. I had a lot of fun with her. She's the she's the professional. She is she is our man. I don't even know how to describe her. It was like I was she was I'll be tripping her out because I'm like I'm honored to be on tour with you. I know Mary for a long time, but I'm right. still like wow, this is Mary. Mm -hmm. And she was like, oh no, nah, stop it. You know, and I'm like, no, I'm honored to be on tour with you. She's like, come on, man. We, I'm we we I'm happy we good together. I'm right, happy right. to be on tour with you too. And um. I would love that. I would love that. I would. I would be. I would be lucky to get a a, Mar a joint Mary J. <laughs> Blige album. You know what I mean? I, I mean, I would put my heart into it. You know, if we if we do that. And, that and back to Lost, back to Lost Professor. I would do, definitely um, do that because he was the first one I was like like working with. So um, to do that, you know, that would be that would be cool too. Yeah, yeah, for sure, man. I mean, I've thrown around a bunch of names, a bunch of legends, a bunch of iconic um, just contributors to this culture, man. This thing that we love, this thing that started out in the park in the Bronx that, that became this multi-billion dollar industry that take care of a whole lot of us and a whole lot of families and 
got a lot of people in good situations. Esco, thank you, man. I appreciate you for everything that you've done. Thank you for your time today, man. King's Disease is out thank there you, right now. Let's get into something off the album. Anything you want to hear off the album for, for the Hip Hop Nation family? Blue Benz for the streets, one Oof, time. Crazy, Blue Benz, it's Hip Hop Nation, Nas Esco.